Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Am I on? Okay. <laughs> yes. Good morning. I'm John Turner. I'm um, filling in for Pastor Kate, who's under the weather this morning, so our prayers for her to get well soon. Okay. There we go. Now, yes, <laughs> I was saying I'm here in front this morning because Pastor Kate is not feeling well this morning. She's a little bit under the weather. So, uh, so <laughs> you, you have me this morning, and um, even Pastor Bill's not feeling up to par. So, uh, but you're in good hands with the, uh, the rest of the laity here that's helping out uh, for this morning's uh, service. So good morning, everyone, and um, let, me, uh, let me just uh, draw your attention to some of the announcements in the bulletin. First of all, the small groups are resuming this week, and uh, let's see, the Hype Youth Ministry is happening tonight. Yes, okay, yes, and Bill is able to speak to that, okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So we're just such a close staff that we share everything alike. So Pastor Kate's sick, now I'm sick, just sharing it all over the place. We'll try not to share it with you uh, best we can. Um, last Sunday, Hype Youth Ministry kicked off, had an amazing kickoff over at Mace Chapel United Methodist Church. Uh, tonight is our first meeting of the Hype Youth Ministry at our new meeting location, which is uh, Brightview um, in Mace Chapel Ridge. Uh, so we'll be meeting there tonight. Uh, last week we gave out our new brochure that gives all the details about Hype Youth Ministry. It's posted on the board out in the hall, both in the hallway near the office and on the Youth Ministry board. Um, so there's directions and everything on how to get there. If you have any questions, let me know. But we are looking forward to having our first meeting over at Brightview. So come out and be a part of that. It's from 5 to 6.30. So 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. tonight. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Bill. I think we'll quarantine you. <laughs> we'll give him the front pew here. So, uh, And let's see, also uh, on the schedule this week, um, besides the small groups meeting, um, well, actually, today after the service is a mission trip planning meeting. For those just interested in hearing about um, what the next mission trip may be and to where. And uh, let's see. And uh, Pastor Kate's going to start a new uh, Bible study on Thursday nights beginning September 27th. So a week from this Thursday, a Bible study Thursday at 7 in the conference room with uh, Pastor Kate. There's more information about that in your bulletin. Oh, yes, and, and uh, also, remember, uh, you should have one of the, uh, is that purple? <laughs> purple sheets in your bulletin. Uh, if you would take the time, it's this time of year for us to, for the Staff Parish Relations Committee to evaluate our pastors and staff, and uh, this gives you a way to do that. If you could fill this out and put it in the box, the special box, at the back of the uh, sanctuary at the end of the service. It, that would be much appreciated from the SPRC. Okay, does anybody else have an announcement? No other announcements from the congregation? Okay, then take a moment, stand and greet those around you and pass the peace of Christ.
Please stand if you are able and join me in the call to worship. Come and worship. All you who love and serve our God. Who surrounds us with unfailing love. And answers us when we call. Who cares for the humble and lowly. And never abandons those in need. This, this is our God, God, worthy of our worship and praise. Please remain standing for the hymn of praise, Come, Come, Everybody Worship. Can the kids join me up front? If there are children. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How are you today? Are you feeling good? It's good to hear. So uh, there, we've been talking a lot in church about a guy named Samuel, and he was a king in Israel. But one day, he stopped being king, so they had to pick a new king. But Samuel's sons weren't exactly the best people to be king, so the people wanted to pick a new king. But Samuel wanted to leave the kingdom to God because we want God to rule our lives. We don't want some man to rule our lives. So, would you want, let's say, Jeremiah, can you come here for a second? Come here. Come here, come here. Please, pretty please. Okay, it's all right. You can, you can do it. Sarah, yeah. can you stand up for me? Okay. Okay. Now, this is Sarah. Sarah is very nice, but Sarah also loves to talk a lot. Would you, would you want Sarah to be your king if she's always going to be talking and talking and talking and talking and talking? I won't be talking that much. <laughs> See, Sarah, would, Sarah probably would be a very good king. Queen. 
but Sarah, Sarah would be a very good queen. But <laughs> Sarah isn't perfect, <laughs> but God is perfect, which is why we want a perfect God to be our king slash queen. So thank you, Sarah. You can sit down now. So I'm going to pray for us, and I want us all to remember that we have a perfect God up there, and that God can be the ruler of our lives, and we want him to be, because he's perfect. They are perfect. Okay, so bow, my, bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that you are here for us, and we thank you that you can rule over our lives and give us direction, and that you are perfect, and that you can lead us in, uh, lead us in the right direction at any time we need it. And in your name we pray. Amen. We can walk downstairs. He's walking. <laughs> He's not running. <laughs> he follows directions well, Isaac. <laughs> well, it's now time to share our joys and concerns. So we do want to pray for uh, Pastor Kate and hope she feels better soon. And Pastor Bill, that he doesn't get worse and gets better soon. What other joys or concerns? Isaac? Yes. Yes, all those affected by the hurricane this week in North and South Carolina and other parts. Anybody else? Oh, back here in the choir, Hugh. And that's your cousin, Dan. Cousin, Hugh's cousin, Dan, who's dealing with dementia. Prayers for him and the family surrounding him at this time. Nathan. Is he here? Oh, he had to leave. He was here, but... Okay, Ethan's 12th birthday. Happy birthday to Ethan, and he's a, a new member of the youth, right? Sixth grade, okay. Penelope. Okay, prayers for the upcoming um, fundraiser for abused animals that Penelope's friend is holding or organizing. Okay, Timmy. Okay, Tim is having his, just his fifth knee surgery on Thursday, so we pray that everything will go well. And this will be the fifth and final time. <laughs> Okay, uh, Carolyn. Okay, we're glad you're here, but prayers for your husband's feeling better. Okay, so less falling, that's, be that's good, less falling. And let's see, back here, and Gary in the, in the choir loft. Uh, okay. Okay, I knew. Okay, so Gary and Donnie have a new great nephew. So congratulations. And everyone's good, in good shape. Good. That's great. Let's see. Oh, back. Oh, and it's Donnie here. So we have Gary and then Donnie. 
Yes, Reverend Hurley is with us, and it's always a pleasure to see him, and we're glad to have you with us, Reverend Hurley, who served the church um, just a few years ago. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, another one, Donnie. Okay, just two. <laughs> Okay, uh, prayers for longtime member Bill Gerber, who hasn't been feeling well in recent weeks, so prayers to lift him up to feel better. Okay, and Teresa. Okay, these are co-workers of yours that need our prayers for upcoming surgery or for, um, for healing. And let us say for all of these, Lord, in our mercy, hear our prayers. Anybody else? Do we have them all? Okay, let's, um, let's now um, raise these prayers up. Uh, those which have been spoken and those unsaid here in uh, a few moments of silent prayer. Now let us join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
mention that uh, during the joys and concerns, make sure that you sign in to the pew pads at the end of the pew and pass them down to your neighbors. And uh, that also gives you the opportunity to write out uh, any prayer requests that you might have. And especially if you're a visitor or a new, a new person, uh, we'd like to find out who you are and, and further information so we can follow up with you. Now, as far as um, our offering here at Epworth, we don't, uh, we don't have the, the tradition really of passing the plate. We pass the, pl the pew pads, but not the plate uh, through, the, uh, through the pews each Sunday. Instead, we have boxes at the back of the sanctuary so that you can leave your offering uh, as you come in to the sanctuary or as you leave uh, each time. So I wanted to point that out. So let's uh, lift up those gifts that uh, have been made or have yet to be made uh, to God in prayer. The first scripture reading today comes from 1 Samuel, Samuel 8, 4 through 20. So all the Israelites' elders got together and went to Samuel at Ramah. They said to him, listen, you are old now and your sons don't follow in your footsteps. So appoint us a king to judge us all like the other nations have. It seemed very bad to Samuel when they, when they said, give us a king to judge us. So he prayed to the Lord. The Lord answered Samuel, comply with the people's request everything they ask of you, because they haven't rejected you. No, they've rejected me as king over them. They are doing to you only what, you only what they've been doing to me from the day I brought them out of Egypt to this very minute, abandoning me and worshiping other gods. So comply with their request, but give them a clear warning, telling them how the king will rule over them. Then Samuel explained everything the Lord had said to the people who were asking for a king. This is how the Lord... This is how the king will rule over you. Samuel said, He will take your sons and, he, and will use them for his chariots and his cavalry and as runners for his chariot. He will use them as his commanders of troops of 1,000 of 1, and troops of 50, or to do his plowing and his harvesting, or to make his weapons or parts for his chariots. He will take your daughters to be perfumers, cooks, or bakers. He will take your best fields, vineyards, and olive groves and give them to his servants. He will give one-tenth of your grain and your vineyards to his officials and the best of your, and the best of your cattle and donkeys and make, and make them do his work. He will take one-tenth of your flocks and then you will cry out, or, and then you yourselves will become his slaves. When that day comes, you will cry out because of the king you chose for yourself. But on that day, the Lord won't answer you. But the people refused to listen to Samuel and said, No, there must be a king over us so we can be like all the other nations. Our king will judge us and lead us and fight our battles. Please stand for the hymn of preparation, Be Still My Soul.
Our second scripture reading today comes from Psalm 138. I give thanks to you with all my heart, Lord. I sing your praise before all other gods. I bow toward your holy temple and thank your name for your loyal love and faithfulness because you have made your name and word greater than everything else. On the day I cried out, you answered me. You encouraged me with, your, with inner strength. Let all the earth's rulers give thanks to you, Lord, when they hear what you say. Let them sing about the Lord's ways because the Lord's glory is so great. Even though the Lord is high, he can still see the lowly, but God keeps his distance from the arrogant. Whenever I am in deep trouble, you make me live again. You send your power against my enemy's wrath. You save me with your strong hand. The Lord will do all this for my sake. Your faithful love lasts forever, Lord. Don't let go of what your hands have made. So there's a, um, there's a phrase that I've, I've heard a lot and I think applies today. The phrase is seize the 167. Uh, it means that there's 168 hours in a week and church is only one of those hours. Um, so take the 167 that's left in the week and serve someplace, uh, be with someplace, be with somebody. Uh, especially I think it applies to today because we don't know, um, we don't know day by day what we're going to be doing, where we're going to be going. Um, so serve someplace, um, whether it's either just serving your family members or serving friends or doing whatever you feel that God is leading you to go. Um, with that, um, we go, we dismiss and go out and, like I said, season 167. Uh, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.